So I had spoken to Judge Clay Jenkins. In fact, there's Clay Jenkins right there. Let's see if he'll come over here live. Clay, can I have you come over here real quickly? I'm going to ask uh, Clay Jenkins. I'm going to uh, commandeer him over here and ask him uh, some questions. We're on live right now. Um, can you uh, tell us what the decision was to uh, release the, uh, the, the people that were detained down there at the bridge? Yeah, what I know is our officers are being told that people are uh, going to uh, be coming back uh, and allowed passage to their cars. Now, there may be some people uh, that, that are detained uh, that may be on a case-by-case -case basis, but the information we're getting is that uh, you know, cooler heads will prevail. People will be uh, uh, going home, and so that's a good thing. Well, now you had an agreement with Dominique Alexander to stay here and not to go off in March, but he broke that agreement. Um, how are you feeling about all of that? Well, what I said to, to uh, Mr. Alexander is that uh, I would make sure that we uh, protect peaceful protests here until 10 o'clock tonight, um, but that uh, if he left here, he'd be you know subject to the state and uh, the the city's jurisdiction. Uh, he left here. I don't know exactly what happened when he left here. Um, you know, the sheriff and I had to, to uh, work on uh, uh, a, a curfew of order of our own, which will extend the time f for the next week uh, that, that this will be open. So the city will, will close at 7 as long as they do it. But peaceful protests will, can take place on county property until 8.30 uh, each night. But you, we, we won't have peaceful protest, but we want people to do it safely. And, um, you know, we, uh, I can't do much to help them uh, other than, you know, uh, well, I can't do much to help them when they're off county property. But we, we, we value pr uh, peaceful protest um, and we want to protect that for everyone. You were concerned a little bit about the social distancing. I mean, you've been preaching for the last three months about social distancing, social distancing. There's still a pandemic. Was there some concern about so many people being arrested and taken down to DPD headquarters or the jail or in all the processing and the and just the marches themselves about, you know, we're still in a pandemic? Sure. Well, you know, uh, it's it's a it's it's a weird combination. Right. But uh, it's really not safe to get into these crowds and, and uh it's not safe to, to uh, be not six foot apart like we are actually right now. And you, people need to wear their mask, right? So um, that's a concern. And, and I think uh, most of those protesters uh, believe that what they were doing was peaceful and legal. I don't know exactly what happened out there, but the people that I saw protesting here um, were, were peaceful protesters. What next in the coming days? What's the plan? I think the plan is to, to listen. You know, I don't learn a whole lot when I'm talking. I want to hear what people have to say. Uh, you know, we need to have, just have respect and grace towards each other. Um, and we need to all be committed towards improving the way that we're doing policing and, the, and those relationships that we have, uh, because we don't want to return back to the old normal. We want to work together to build a new normal uh, where people feel respected and safe when they have an interaction. So D DPD decided to arrest them. It, did the DA have, a, or did y'all talk to the Dallas District Attorney about whether or not y'all would actually go through with these arrests? Did he have a say in any of this? Um, I was not personally involved in uh, conversations with the DA. I was having my own conversations. He may have had some too. Uh, there were a lot of conversations uh, going back and forth. But uh, if tonight results in very few people being arrested and most of these protesters going home and sleeping in their beds, I think that's a good result. Um, do you know if there's any other planned protests coming in the upcoming days? You know, I don't. But again, we'll be open till 830. Uh, if people want to protest here, it's, uh, it's a quintessential American activity uh, to have free speech. We just got to do it without it being infiltrated by uh, people who want to break windows or and you know cause damage. There's really nothing worse uh, for the movement towards improving uh, policing and and changing to a new normal uh, where people are, are safer and more respected in their interactions with the police uh, than these folks who are infiltrating the peaceful protesters, breaking windows and scaring folks who um, are are watching this. Thank you, Judge Jenkins, Thank for your you. time. Thanks. Okay, so that was Judge Clay Jenkins, the county judge, who's obviously in charge of emergency situations here in Dallas, and was down there at the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge and said that there was a decision to release uh, 
the release, the, the peaceful protesters, as he called them, said that they have a right to protest. And he says he's glad that some of them are going home and um, going to bed instead of going to jail. And again, a lot of concern still because we are in the middle of a pandemic. And that was a lot of people that they were going to have to take down to uh, DPD headquarters for processing and then eventually to the jail. Uh, but there, I should have asked him, and I didn't think about that, but 100 people that were arrested last night, uh, what happens to them? Are they, uh, some of them are still in the jail and some of them are still being processed. So uh, that's the situation here right now. Back well, to you guys. Well, you asked plenty.